Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's take a look at an image editing technique. In particular, sometimes in your photos, you might have something just, you know, going across the foreground or just something ugly in a photo you don't like. Obviously, in a lot of situations, you can actually crop or mask something out but you might not be able to do that if it actually crosses into the foreground, the thing that you want to keep, the subject of your photo. This is when we have to use a more difficult method of actually jumping in to manually remove that thing that is in the way, and there are normally a plethora of different ways you can actually do this. Today, we're going to take a look at two of these methods, and we're going to decide which one is more appropriate for which situation. I'm talking in particular about the clone tool and the smudge tool. Both of these are extremely powerful, they allow you to actually jump into the picture and basically do whatever strokes necessary to get rid of stuff, but each one of these tools actually have their specific purpose. Now, in this particular picture, as you can see, I've got a deer. This is a picture taken in the zoo, and one problem I find in this picture is that there is this wire running across basically the entire picture. Most irritatingly, it actually ran right across the subject of the picture, and without that, the picture is actually a pretty good one. And so in this situation, I decided I wanted to jump in and remove that wire. So I'm faced with the choice of whether I want to choose the clone tool or the smudge tool. And as you can see right now, I'm actually using the clone tool. You see, all the clone tool does is it copies colors from one region of an image and simply pastes it at wherever you click. Now, what's interesting is as you move your brush around where you're painting, the original point of copying also moves along. So essentially, you're specifying an area in the image to copy and paste on where you're brushing. Since this is the method used, notice that the clone tool is actually very useful in preserving textures. As you can see, I'm quite successfully removing the wire without actually destroying the pattern of the deer's fur, and that is what a clone tool really shines at. However, the clone tool is more clunky to use. And therefore, if you don't need to actually have detail, then you might be better off using the smudge tool. As you can see right now, I'm removing the wire in the bokeh, the blurred part of the background. And because there aren't too many details in those regions, what I can do is I can simply just grab the colors from outside the wire and smudge it onto the wire. And as a result, removing it from the frame. Of course, I could use the clone tool if I wanted to, but then I'll have to find somewhere that is a similar color and clone from there. So the bottom line is, if you're painting out something over a detailed background, use the clone tool. If you're painting out something against a blurry background, then use the smudge tool. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Friday Minis. I hope you learned something today, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember that I appreciate every like, favorite, and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more updates outside of YouTube, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at 0612TV. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.